Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Jennifer Ben Brahim. Today I'm joined by two members of a French five piece bringing the club to the couch. Bagarre, meaning fight in English, are not just a band, a crew, or a collective. What unifies them is a love of music. Now the members go by the nicknames MID, La Bête, Majnoun, Maître Club, and Muse, and they're back after a four year hiatus with the album Le Club C'est Vous or The Club Is You. I'm delighted to welcome back onto the show Thomas and Mustafa. Welcome. Thanks for having, thanks. having us. Yeah, now, thanks. first question Where have you guys been? Have you been worried? Uh, actually, the sanitary crisis uh, is a lot, uh, has a lot of, uh, to do with that. Uh, we, and we have told a lot before, uh, actually, this uh, March, uh, to, uh, four years ago. Yeah. And um, after we needed some time to create again and also to invent a new story mm. uh, for the band. And uh, because this uh, long pause actually, I think, changed our way of... Uh, doing music yeah like a lot of people i guess it was quite complicated to to go through uh, this uh crazy episode and so yeah, it yeah we, want, time. we need we need to be five to create yeah. and we yeah. were all apart uh, at home and it was not a really creative moment well i have to say you know now four years after your last release you're back with your new album and as you mentioned just now like it's really a five person collaborative experience. And I heard that was the case when you made the album. It was very kind of democratic in how you produced this album. Can you tell us more? Uh, yes. Do you open this? Uh, yeah, it was like, uh, I think after the, the, um, the this crisis, we kind of like, uh, we kind of like uh, were searching uh, what we want to do, why we are still doing this. And uh, this makes, makes um, Give it, give, give us the, 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 the strength. Yeah, and so also we invented a new method. Mm. Like, uh, for example, before uh, we were starting with the texts, and we, we, after we were like, oh, what kind of music can we put on that text? And this time uh, it was the, the opposite. We made productions, we made music, we made melodies. Mm. And after we were wondering what kind of lyrics uh, can we add to this music, to this environment? So it was a bit more instinctive and everybody was uh, adding their his personal histories and, uh, and uh, different, we had different willings uh, actually in the, in the different message. Well, speaking of lyrics, there's actually one song I want to play for you guys at home and it's called Boy, uh, starring your bandmate uh, Emma D and very interesting lyrics. Take a look. Boy by Bagar. Now that video is very interesting. It really kind of breaks down what we believe is like kind of a mask, what we define as masculinity. What were you trying to say with this uh, with this video? But also, there's a really interesting lyric uh, where you say, "You look so good when you dance with me, boy." That's the English translation. What is this song trying to say? I think it's talk it's talking about uh, how complicated it is to show yourself as a man with a uh, sensibility. Uh, most of uh, the the way we're seeing men uh, in the society is like you have to be strong, you have to be uh, taking care about everything. You're the man, and it's it shows the the, the opposite, you know. It's uh, accepting yourself uh, as exactly who you are and exactly what you feel. Um, uh, I speak also on behalf of uh, MID mm. who wrote the song, uh, and um, but it's. This question of uh, masculinity, masculinity or femininity is, uh, we want to go beyond that actually and uh, say, boy, uh, you are so beautiful when you cry or it's uh, getting, rid of cert getting rid of certain roles that we have and I think there are ob obstacles to just uh, who you want to be. Now back to the album in general, it's really like, as the name suggests, a real celebration of like clubbing, of partying and so on. And I saw that you guys were actually going uh, around France doing these club nights. Yeah. What is so important about, you know, club culture for Bagarre? 
because it's a it's it's a safe place. It's a place where uh, you you uh, you can be who you want to be, like uh, and uh, forget all the all the like uh, difficulties of the day. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like all the uh, how you you have to deal with the society and the club. It's like yeah, it's a safe place, and you can exist as a, as yourself. And it was a really important to us to to uh, to show in this album and to give the vibe of. Uh, of like um, happiness, being together, like a yeah, it's a hopeful uh, record, and it was a hopeful tour also. Uh, yeah. Um, but we we thought that uh, that album as a an, as a utopia, as a dream of where uh, everybody can be exactly free and tolerant, and uh, for us, clubbing and also the club nights that we host are a, a metaphor and also in a way, political places, because we, uh, in some um, nights, we do caritative uh, uh, clubbing nights and all the profits go to associations uh, like Planning Familial, uh, Accept Este, Association Mamama, for example. And for us, it's always uh, important to link uh, music and values. And uh, voilà. It's all about love. Exactly. We are hippie now. <laughs> well, it's good. It's, you know, moving like music together with like parching, especially as you're saying, you're making this album uh, after, you know, the COVID lockdowns and so on. Well, we'll move on to some other music news and someone else who is no stranger to, you know, clubs and, and so on. And that's the return of American band Gossip. Now, Beth Ditto and co are back after a 12 year hiatus with their sixth studio album, Real Power. Now, the dance punk record was produced by the legendary Rick Rubin and includes the titular track uh, written in the wake of mass protests in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, let's take a listen to the track. Okay, so that was Real Power by a Gossip. Now, Toma and Mustafa, um, as we saw in that song, they're very you know, socially and politically conscious. And I feel like Bagal also are uh, very socially and politically conscious. Why is it important for Bagal as a band to uh, use you know, your music to, to pass on these messages? I, I, sorry. You, oh, uh, I think it's, that was the first, like, um, the the first like uh, th that that's why we wanted to do music you know because we had things to say and we still have things to say and to to exist as a as a person with the the the, the thought and the feeling we feelings we have in the world we are living in yeah and I think as a teenager also the bands that uh, we were loving were also committed like politically or socially like I don't know I remember uh, the clash uh, this big gig uh, rock against racism and maybe uh, rage against the machine also it was um, we always um, think that music cannot really change the world but uh, it can help mm. that the people the militants that are changing the world to have more strength and I think they need that now yeah, it's important to use your voice uh, for good. Yeah. Now, to actually another band making a grand return, it's 2024 is the year of, of uh, making new music. Uh, just in time for their 40th anniversary, uh, Scottish alt-rock icons Vegetas and Mary Chain are about to drop Glasgow Eyes. Now, it's their first new music in seven years. The brothers, Jim and William Reed, are also marking the occasion by releasing an autobiography later this year. Now, in the meantime, let's take a listen to the track Girl 71. Got you, you got me, and there's nothing. We got wine, we got nothing. We got wine, but that wouldn't last the day. Well, nothing does, so that's okay. Pierce doesn't touch the ground. Give up what you need. 
So that was a Jesus and Mary chain. Now you can actually catch them on tour this spring. They'll be uh, at Paris's Elysee Montmartre on the 13th of April. Now Bagar are also going to be uh, touring uh, with the new album. We can actually see you at the Bataclan on the 24th of May. What can fans expect? Are you bringing the club to the Bataclan? Of course, like always. Good. <laughs> now we're as uh, I we're super like excited about this new tour because. Uh, it's uh, it's um, a whole new show. The, a whole new show, yeah, for sure. And it's the first show of the the the, the, the sequence of the of this uh, new album. So we are pretty exci excited about that. Yeah, the album is uh, out twenty uh, ninth of March. Yeah, okay. and uh, we are very excited because uh, le club c'est vous, as we say, and uh, we are so happy to find uh, our audience again. Okay, great. We'll definitely have to check out the album and catch them on tour. Now, it's gone very quickly at the end of the show. I want to thank both of you, Toma and Mustafa, for coming to speak to us again. Uh, for the invitation. Thank you You're welcome. Much. So we're actually going to play out with some new music from South African a Grammy-winning singer, uh, Tyler. She's about to drop her self-titled debut album, and that's following on from her smash hit single, Water. Now, we'll leave you with the song, uh, Truth or Dare, and there's more uh, news coming up on France 24 just after this.